John Hagel is with Deloitte, and you do a lot of work with big companies trying to change. Yes, yes. Uh, it's, uh, increasingly, there's an awareness that the world is changing very rapidly around us, and large companies are beginning to face up to the issue of how do we change. And how many of them are getting it right? Oh, the, uh, the research that's been done suggests that the failure rate is extremely high. 70 to 80 percent of efforts for transformation basically don't achieve the goals that were set out. Mm, that's, that's terribly high. Why would that be? Uh, it's largely because the traditional approach to organizational change is a senior executive comes in and says, we have to change everything. It's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to take a long time. And what that does is bring out the immune system of large organizations. The antibodies are very effective when you're talking about taking money from things that we're already doing and that we have to wait a long time and are very dedicated to crushing those efforts and getting that money back. How? Uh, they do everything uh, basically undercover. These, these antibodies rarely come out and declare their, their opposition to the change efforts. They work behind the scenes in the privacy of their offices to undermine and subvert the, the change efforts and make sure they don't succeed. These bad people? <laughs> or bad executives? No, actually, they're quite human people, and I think one of the things psychologists have demonstrated is that in times of high performance pressure, we tend to resort to very dysfunctional behavior. We become very risk averse, we become very suspicious, and uh, so it's a natural human reaction at one point, at one level, but very dysfunctional if you're trying to achieve change. How do you actually address this? Because clearly going head on hasn't yeah. worked. Yeah, our advice is an approach that we call scaling edges, which has to do with avoiding confrontation with the core of the business. Because if you confront the core, you will bring out the antibodies. Instead, find an edge that has the potential to scale very rapidly to the point where it could become the new core of the business. And over time, pull more and more of the people and resources out from the core to the edge as they start to see tangible opportunity being created. So it overcomes the fear and says, we're all going to go down, and says, actually, there's a future out there. Maybe we ought to join. Well, there's a, uh, an example of that here in South Africa where NASPAS made an investment in 10 cent and 2,000% uh, return on it. They've been able to transform that organization. John Hagel is with Deloitte.